Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight uh, we're doing some work on the, uh, the second uh, episode of the bottle lift, uh, the gas bottle lift. So we got some pieces uh, laid out. We're going to go look at those and uh, do a little bit of weld assembly and start putting this thing together. So uh, I got the uh, uh, the ratchet strap here. It's part of it. And uh, we're going to build them out for that and uh, do a bunch of stuff on that. So let's suit up and uh, let's get cracking. Getting a little close there. Gotta raise that up a little. That was the, the three pieces that I welded together. I glued the template on top there. And now, um, pull those pins out of there if I can. And I'll have to knock them out. They're kind of a snug fit. Um, so I road broached that hole and then uh, used the boring head uh, to, uh, to bore it to size. So we get the, uh, the bottle rests uh, bandsawed out here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to belt sand the OD um, well, maybe I'll mill a little bit off of that too um, what I was going to do here excuse me is uh, just mill a few thousands off of these surfaces instead of belt sanding all that um, all that down until it cleans up you know it's Sometimes it's quicker just to mill it off. So what I want to do is I want to get that surface lined up here parallel with the machine. So uh, we're going to get a parallel here. Pick one here. Push that down. And uh, we're just going to line that edge up visually right there. So I got a I got a pretty good registration there. I got a good good sight line there, and I can just secure that and take that away. And then I'll come in here with the uh, well. Let's just do it right. Um, come in there with the end mill. And just a note. Um, you know, I'm using this new uh, HD camera there, and uh, the camera's backed off a fair amount now. In fact, uh, if I use my handy dandy uh, tape measure here, I'm uh, about a meter away um, right now, and I'm zoomed in a little bit. So we're going to use this uh, Ceratip uh, um, inserted cutter here.
And I'm just going to come over, I'm just going to touch that. I'll zero my readout. And it's 1200 RPM. I'm going to go to my zero. And I zeroed the uh, the uh, x-axis there, so I can go back to that same point. I'm just going to drop it down about I don't know ten thousandths. Well, let's try five. So about a tenth of a millimeter. This is the, let's see, can you guys still see in there? Oh yeah, so you guys can see pretty good, but it shields me from the, the hot chips. So yeah, I should have went the, uh, the 10 mil, or uh, 10 thousands. Excuse me. So that basically clean that up. It, uh, you know, that's a lot, uh, a lot faster than uh, the belt sanding here. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the other side. Oop, push that in. Drop that over the side. So I'm running my finger across it. I'm just trying to feel the edge. So here I'm I'm hooking it right there, but here I'm not. Okay, so that feels about equal now. <clears throat> All right. Now, if I'm any good, then I should be able to just drop down to my other number and. Let's go to the zero first. Pretty good. It didn't. Uh, I got about a 90-95% clean up there. There's two little itty bitty little spots. This will go away. I'm going to radius that corner, so that'll go away. So I'm going to call that good. Um, I'm going to use the the same technique on the outside here um, to go ahead and flatten those off. I'm not going to show it because uh, it's quite a bit of bandwidth there. So. So one thing while we're here, um, I get a lot of comments about this thing here. Um, this is my uh, my Milwaukee uh, hole shooter and um, um, adapter that I made. Uh, and this is made out of aluminum bronze here. 
uh, to engage with those uh, the castellations there. Anyway, uh, this is just my my poor man's uh, power feed. So I get a lot of comments about that. So there's that uh, that deal right there. All right, so we got all the uh, the bits and pieces here now. So um, we're kind of ready to start sticking some stuff together. Um, so, oh, I didn't show these before. Here's the wheels. I had some wheels floating around uh, that seemed appropriate for this. Uh, uh, let's see, these are the uh, for the stair uh, sliders. We just did these guys here. And uh, those will go on here like so. See how this works. Uh, there's a bushing that goes in here, and that'll uh, raise and lower that guy there. Um, what else? I'm going to start uh, putting it together. I got to clean a little rust off of that, and then I can uh, do a little layout work on that and uh, start welding it up. I'll just show some. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole process. Uh, I'll just show the kind of the intermediate here and there uh, so you get the idea how it goes together.
so we get uh, a fair amount of this tacked up now. Um, these are just some supports here that will uh, just stiffen this whole uh, rear edge of the uh, of the tongue. And um, and this is the this I guess I'll just call it the stair crawler. Um, so when you have the um, the wheel mounted here, like so, when you roll down a set of stairs, it'll uh, slide on that surface there. Um, got this tacked up. I'll do a little. There's a bushing that goes in here that's going to get installed, and then uh, this goes like so. And uh, and then this is the part that's going to move up and down to do the bottle lifting. So let's see if we can. Uh, We'll simulate that here. So here's our gas bottle. We'll get the gas bottle up on here, and then the ratchet strap will secure it to this this mount here. And then uh, it has a lead screw that will turn, uh, most likely with a, uh, a cordless drill. And um, I, I'm not going to hand crank that, not for you know the seven inches that has to be lifted. So this will be strapped to this. This stays on the floor, and this will come up like so. And then on the wheels, we'll be able to kind of move this forward. And then see if we can uh, simulate the. Uh, so this would be up. It'll come forward, and then we can set the bottle in there and and release it. So that being the weld part. Anyway, so that's the general idea how that works. Here's the lead screw. Uh, this is this uh, half 13. This is 12 millimeter, approximately 12 millimeter uh, um, threaded rod. Now this stuff here, this happens to be uh, what's called B7 uh, all thread, which is chromoly. Uh, it's just some that I had that's high strength. Um, probably not necessary for this application. Uh, when I built my jib crane, um, and you guys may have seen the seen it in some of the other videos. Um, I use these uh, uh, high strength rods to clamp the, uh, the parts to the concrete columns. Um, anyway, that's what that's, uh, that's about there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, finish, finish fitting these up here, get this all tacked up and, uh, and uh, squared away. And then uh, tonight we'll probably uh, make the mounts for the uh, for the wheels here. So I haven't quite decided if I'm going to come off of uh, shoulder bolts here or if I'm going to run an axle all the way through. I'm kind of leaning on running the axle all the way through is what I'm really kind of liking the idea of. So uh, um, anyway, still thinking about it. All right, let's go. those properly to get them lined up so I didn't have to bite the piece while well, I got it tacked in there.
Okay, so uh, we kind of got this tacked up now, and we're going to do a test of the, uh, the ratchet strap setup. Um, so I got this blocked up so I can put this, uh, this big heavy tube on here. Yeah. Which is simulating our, uh, our gas bottle, kind of. stuff here to get leverage on. Well, we're pretty close to a, a full-scale test here. Uh, I've had enough for tonight. Um, let's actually, let's take this away. You can, you can see here, I've got the, uh, the wheel set up on it here. So the idea is, pretend this is the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, of the gas cylinder. You'll wheel this up into the machine and then we'll just lower that down into the uh, into the pocket so that's the general idea I don't know pretty happy so far um, okay well that's not a full cylinder either um, but uh, we'll be trying that soon enough Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for episode three. Uh, see you guys later.